we list all the magic numbers in all the pieces of code provided above okay so we have those uh, in python script uh, magic numbers actually not magic numbers don't leave those alone in index html we have levels going up to 10 we actually want to test this going up to double that see what difference to the noise reduction it does makes now in javascript yet yeah, those ones the volume and duration we want to either control automatically or have uh, controller sliders on the front page we can leave it fs that's for sampling frequency that should be fine and we have this uh, focusing on volume and duration wait a sec we just remembered that we might have already done so we want to control volume we want to link volume to the whole spectrum the energy of the whole spectrum yeah the volume yeah it's set to default so essentially the idea is to control the volume by the whole spectrum even though it might be problematic as uh, so we have this seizure in this recording so it might be just uh, very soft uh, before and after the seizure if we map amplitude to the power in the whole spectrum it would just become very loud uh, during seizure over there so before seizure we have the power uh, going up to 500 and during seizure it's going up to 8000 just the effect of uh, the different uh, window size yeah, this power number should really be we do normalize it somewhere from uh, 0 to 1 that's not what displayed on screen so yeah, if you have any ideas of how to map uh, how to control the volume the volume at the moment is always the same uh, the other option is to just get, give the user control of uh, volume and duration. Focusing on volume and duration, we would like to have two options. Either the user select the raw, the actual value of each using an input on the front panel. We also want an option to automate volume and duration for example we want we might link volume to the power in the whole spectrum of the eg and duration could be linked to the window size yeah, this code obviously it's not uh, enough it's not gonna do the whole thing on the front page so all those are available in another application so put them down the bottom so everything from a window to noise i'm calling it music and not sound because uh, we're actually using musical uh, notes uh, musical notation turn whole spectrum back on by default Control i turn on by default should be a simple task for a github copilot We'll split the controls into two sections. So I can see already split. Place uh, wave at noise below the bottom the chart. Same as the whole spectrum. Right, so we have changed the label, EG to music, channel number, select channel number, the window size makes a big difference, and the file scroller. The main controller, uh, where's the scroll? Right under this scroll, we want another another control. Right, we have volume and duration and some default values. We have these two switches as well. So what they look like. Right, so we have the volume. Doesn't really fit the screen. Maybe it should look like this. Should we turn it? Uh, on by default 
well now let's try the manual uh, volume control first so currently it's all the same volume okay get values from the html into the javascript code and uh, calculate so we need another function so the volume should be linked to the whole spectrum okay so we need those two functions yeah the eg power in the whole spectrum should be uh, it's this value here so the idea is when you you can set the volume manually maybe if you do this should uh, if you touch this scroller the toggle button should turn off we don't have it yet but that uh, could be a better way of implementing it when you turn it on it should take um, energy the overall energy for the whole spectrum yeah well, i see uh, there will be a problem with this but uh, give it a go don't like it you could just set your own volume uh, manually for duration we're linking the duration of each uh, node being played to either manually you can could set manually or if it's uh, turn auto duration will be linking the duration of each node being played to the window size which you can change yourself Yeah, instead of an additional function play sound can we just modify the play frequency function that takes frequency volume and duration as inputs right so now we're taking more inputs auto volume auto duration okay do we need all that i don't think so play frequency don't need the eg data because we already have the frequency why do we need the eg data that's odd okay one of the two new functions calls so we definitely need this to calculate auto volume okay these two functions calculate auto volume and calculate auto duration one the play frequency function that takes volume duration is play frequency should play frequency use this to oh no and it's no 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 because it's not having the whole context you have to actually know how the github compiler works but uh, you can to actually select the whole code and ask this question again yeah so it, uh, now uh, looking at uh, the 200 uh, lines of code yeah, I suspect uh, GitHub Copilot won't be able to do it. And what was the problem with uh, GPT? Why do we need to input the EG data? So we can actually calculate volume. Okay, yeah, maybe the original idea wasn't too bad. The yeah, problem now is that place sound is not being actually called. So those are default values. Place sound is currently uh, not being used. Made suggested changes. Yeah, so I assume instead of uh, play frequency, uh, it should be play sound. And this is not taking any parameters, is it? No, oh, it's not uh, taking any parameters. It's just uh, essentially calling play frequency and uh, yeah, either taking the manual volume or taking the automated volume, which then be taken from the whole spectrum energy in that particular window and that's normalized we only have two places where we play sound doesn't work anymore frequency is not defined should take frequency as input must be the order making frequency global variable yeah we need the frequency as an input more sense the volume uh, yeah, the auto volume does not work right actually auto duration does work so if uh, yeah we probably should make it so when you use this uh, scroller that's manual by default Right, so this duration does work manually. It's still playing the previous one. It's actually this problem. I'm pretty sure I told it not to play when another note is playing. Stop 
playing the previous one. It's obviously not doing it because when we increase this duration. So now it's playing short notes, which is fine. Put that roughly in the middle. Yeah, it starts playing them uh, on top of one another. Right. So I can play a long one. Still playing the previous one. When we do this auto duration, this should be, no, actually it should be grayed out and this value should indicate what's uh, currently being used and it should essentially be linked to that number. Actually works pretty well, surprisingly. It's pretty annoying, it can be quite annoying, but uh, I might let you play with it. But the auto volume does not work. Anyway, when, when the auto duration is selected, something should happen to this one. It should be grayed out and uh, showing what the current value is. Okay, it's working well. It is working well. However, we want to make a few more adjustments. For example, when auto duration is on, the duration seconds scroller should be grayed out and ideally indicating the current value. I mean, this should be the case for auto volume as well. That doesn't work at the moment. Yeah, it's getting grayed out as requested. In fact, this uh, grayed out value still change when I change the window size. So it need the window size input. Right, so this is happening when we start. Expect that to change. Oh, it is changing, but only after. Yeah, that's a bug there. Yeah, volume is the tricky part business yeah the auto volume yeah, it doesn't work oh wait a second if it's checked so if it's turned on duration disabled true duration input value oh i do need to do that but where do i do that something is wrong why do i need to do this again yeah i don't see why i need this again because we're already doing this in the event listener but that's not all ah, right so event listener is only doing it when the change occurs if it's checked if it's turned on no it can't make sense it's not working so this value should be recalculated and updated should disable it after it's being updated anyway that's the duration and if it's automated it's linked to the window size there's a little bug there but that should be okay now if the volume i have volume zero volume one and obviously it will become super loud if i keep going so first need to check a volume input i don't know why why is it it's from zero to one and steps of point of one that played the same same sound right so this volume is going from zero to one in this tiny steps which is a bit odd Anything it should be 0.1 or something. A couple of issues with the volume. First, it seems like it's getting way too loud. Should the maximum volume be reduced 10 volt or something? The second problem is that auto volume doesn't work. It gives the following error. Let's actually check what the error is. Some reference is not defined. Well, anyway, it gives this following error. So the volume seems to be okay. Don't want to play it uh, too loud at the moment. I'm calculating the auto volume. Uh, okay, how do I do that? Calculate auto volume will be within the new range. I assume so. 
some reference bar okay no this meant to be uh some reference bar no no the eg data should have the power of the whole spectrum this is what being displayed hey, over here whole spectrum whole spectrum toggle and fetch data and render function it's a long function how do i fetch uh, the whole spectrum okay this now we know what the problem is that the average power it's not an average power it should be in the data the sum reference power should be the value of the whole spectrum power that should be available in the eeg data calculate what volume that makes sense why would calculating it though well right because uh, we have the multiple dat uh, data values so yes we calculating the average for it yeah we have the total power why is it called some reference power no average power makes more sense yeah where it's going wrong is the fact that these uh, spectrums should already contain uh, everything we need the auto duration works okay but volume doesn't i assume we'll be getting this error huh? no we're not getting that error okay just for a sec yeah the sum reference power is not defined assuming a g data spectrum does exist it's the whole each data in the log the each data in zero signals as last spectrums on spectrums right so in spectrums we already have whole spectrum so each data as spectrums as whole spectrum it's the one use whole spectrum to calculate the volume is it finding the spectrum name yeah don't get this uh, average power don't get it and over here the total power is not being used so this one makes slightly more sense Turn the volume and lock the volume to console. Doing auto volume. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if you can hear anything. Probably not. The volume is too low. Seems to work. It's working in the sense that it's much lower when there's no seizure. Is it? No. It's taking alpha. Yeah, the problem is. It has some max power it's 100 it seems to work okay. Yeah, I don't like this magic number, but it works. Let me try this one. Yeah, for co calculating auto volume. Total power is not actually being used. So we want to use total power instead of average power. Can call this out in total power okay now i think it's volume of one is obviously too large it's like this a uh, large number like 1000 okay that's still too large all right so this volume this magic number volume is better yeah the, the seizure is much uh, louder on this channel so you will you will have loudness cues uh, for this check guess is okay or not so you can decide if you're doing uh, auto volume or not and we will continue next time see ya bye